Hi, today's lesson is going to be creating a birch tree landscape using yarn. Birch trees are those long, thin white trees that you see. So you can either use your 8 by 10 canvas, or if you want to go a little larger, this is an 11 by 14. I'm preferably going to go with the smaller canvas. And what you're going to want to do is take some string or yarn. I had pre-cut mine already, I had measured it. Um, the way I measured this it for this was just I usually like to just hold it in my hand and go wrap it around my elbow going up and down and it's wrapped around nicely about three three and a half times okay or you could just do it right from the spool so what you're gonna do is with your canvas now this is actually a canvas panel board uh, you could use a regular cotton canvas or um, panel board just really no preference um, in what works or not with this. But what you're going to want to do is just take a little bit of the back, tape it, you can masking tape it or use just regular scotch tape, which I'm going to use. So I'm just going to tape it here just to keep it in place. And then you're just going to wrap it around the canvas board or canvas. And you don't have to go straight down, you can make it a little angled. So I just keep wrapping it around until you use up the string. So. Okay. Yeah, there's like a straight one here. I'm gonna just move this a little bit over there. Okay. So just wherever you want the birch trees. Okay. And then when you're done, you just tape it in the back to hold it. I have a little bit of extra string here, so I'm just gonna cut that off. And then again, just tape it. Okay. I just taped it all and it's nice and secure. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. I'm just gonna use a flat table surface because I think that's easier. Um, so I have a bunch of supplies here just to show you some different options as to what you can use. Um, if you want to paint with a brush, you can. Um, or even this sponges, even a house sponge would be good. And also have a thin brush in hand. Um, but what I'm going to be using is actually stuff you could probably find at home. So I'm going to be using cotton balls today. So you want to have some cotton balls and Q-tips. These are long Q-tips, but you could use regular Q-tips that you find at the store. And the things that you also may want to have, if you are going to paint with a brush, you may want to have some water over here just so you can clean your brushes out in a paper towel. You're going to want to put your paint on a palette. You can use a plastic palette like this. Or again, I just want to show you stuff that you could probably use at home. Um, and that's going to be a plate. So if you have a paper plate at home, um, that's what you can use as well. I already have put some paint on here. I may not use all of it, but this is acrylic paint. But again, you don't have to use acrylic paint if you don't have that. You could also use tempera paint as something similar. Tempera actually um, is more of a matte finish, whereas the acrylic will have like a little more shine, more plasticky kind of finish that um, you'll have. And also, you could also use finger paint, which is great. It's safe. It's safer. You, uh, make sure it's washable though. Um, so you could use any of these paints. I'm using acrylic. So what you're going to want to do is just basically Take your cotton ball, sponge, brush, whatever you want to use, and pick the color that you want to, want to put and dab onto here. So we're just going to use the dabbing method. So I'm going to first put blue. Okay. And it's just regular cotton balls. And just start tapping it all over. Okay, you could use whatever color you want. You don't have to use the same colors that I have. So you'll see that the yarn, you're actually going over the yarn. And when you take it off, you'll see that it actually um, leaves a, a white line there. So let's take another color. All right. I'm using two cotton balls because they're small, but if you have like a medium size or larger cotton ball, that would be fine too. I already pre-mixed like a white and blue, make a lighter blue, so that's what I use. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. Okay. 
And anyone can do this. So as you can see, I'm not putting a new cotton ball with the white. I'm just kind of mixing it in with that blue color there. Just kind of going all the way down. But again, you can make yours as colorful as you want. You can do the rainbow colors going down if you want. It's really just up to you. Okay. And just for fun, I'm going to probably take a little bit of pink. Okay, maybe there's some pink in here. Take a little more. Again, whatever colors you want to put in there. Okay. Gonna put a little bit more. Okay. And that now, oops, sticking on me. <laughs> All right. And now I'm just gonna add some green. Just dabbing, dabbing, dab. In our art classes, everyone already knows we say dab, dab, dab. <laughs> and for those that haven't come to our art program before, I'm glad we're able to show you some of the stuff that we do, or at least get you involved into some of these art projects. Take a different cotton ball and get some yellow in there. Just some yellow. And if a little bit gets under the string, that's fine. No worries. So you could put as much paint as you want, but or as little paint as you want. You don't even have to do all these colors. You can do a few colors if you want, make it totally multicolored. And you just pretty much just dab wherever you want paint to go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop. So once your paint dried up a little bit, it doesn't have to be too dry, just carefully take off the, the yarn or um, cord that you have on it and you'll see it has like these long streaks um, as you can see some fell a little bit under my string but that's an easy fix I'll show you how to do that but now with this what you can do is you can either leave it the way it is or if you want to create just some like um, distance I'll show you what you can do you can actually just take some of the same colors that you had so I'm just going to pretend maybe this is more of a distance, so I'm just going to kind of paint it to make it a little shorter. Okay. Maybe this one, or maybe this one is a little bit further back as well. Um, I kind of like those two over there, more in the foreground. But as you can see, now it creates a little bit of more of a distance over here. Um, I'm going to grab some of that yellow. There 
Jessica. So I just added a little bit more just to show a little bit more of a distance, okay? And now let me just show you how to fix that part. You could take your Q-tip or your brush and just get a little bit of that white and just kind of dab it in there. So what I'm going to add in now, since now I have my Q-tip, I'm going to just add a little bit more stuff here. Maybe there's just some, I don't know, yellow flowers. So it's just dipping it in and just going all the way, going all around, okay? Wherever you want to have it. Maybe there's some pink. I'm gonna do some pink, a little bit of white in there. Pink and white. Just put like a little bit over here. So you can put them wherever you want. If you want to add them in, you don't have to. But this adds a little something. Okay. Okay. There you go. It's easy flowers. And same thing. Maybe you want to put some. Maybe there's some leaves picking out over here. You could do green or yellow. Or what I like to do, I just kind of like to mix two colors. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the green, and just put some on top. Put a little more green. Okay. Okay. So just kind of like picking at the top because birch trees are very tall. go just right at the top all right all right so um just gonna put this aside over here sorry almost done so bird trees they have like this they have a little bit of like um black in them so you can either take a black sharpie marker which is what i'm going to use or you can get some black paint use a very thin brush and just kind of dab it in but since i have the marker I'm going to do that instead. So just find some areas in here just to show like where the tree is at. Just like that. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go. Move it down here. A little bit still, so I'll go back in there. So now you can see the trees popping out at you. There. Here. Okay. It's gonna wait for that to dry. I'm gonna wait for this part to dry a little bit, but I am gonna add it in there. And that's. And that's it. There you go. A very easy method of making a nice birch tree landscape. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you for the next.